Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Toot Sweet Social Club, and we have the privilege of being at the home of, of Alex, Arthur Alexander, who we call Alex, and Dragana Alexander in Sausalito today with a very special event. You are, uh, this is Dragana right here next to me. Hi. And you are hosting a delegation of people from around the world. Yes. And why don't you tell us a little bit more about it? Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, and uh, so I, today we have a privilege of hosting five people out of 25 uh, guest visitors of the State Department who are here in the United States for three weeks to promote uh, basically culinary diplomacy uh, in the United States. They came from many different countries. Today our guests are from Lebanon, Bosnia, uh, uh, Vietnam, China, uh, Palestine, and I think I Jerusalem? have enough. Yes. Yeah. And uh, they're all here in the program of International Institute for International Education, uh, who hosts, uh, who has an arrangement uh, with the State Department. Uh, whenever, basically, the program is when the American embassies around the world uh, identify very talented leaders uh, in their own fields or in their own countries. They invite them here to the United States uh, for, I think, a program of three weeks and try to connect them with their, with their con counterpart professionals and uh, in three different cities usually. And uh, sometimes common people like us have uh, an honor to also host them in our homes and this is the part called civic diplomacy and uh, we are really fortunate to today have those visitors from five different countries. Thank you Dragana and Dragana and Alex made an amazing American barbecue for us with five four different types of sausage that are made right here in Sausalito. We did a couple of side dishes some beans from the neighbor down the street and we made a Wonderful. deconstructed guacamole because this is a place to get avocados, right? So um, we'd like to bring them on one at a time and have you meet them and uh, get to know these people that we've been hanging out with all day. Thank you. I guess first we'll bring on DDA and, and Bosnia. <laughs> Bosnia. Bosnia, come here. I think Bosnia is quite busy as uh, he's been drinking some uh, very nice Californian wines. <coughs> And uh, oh, he's down there smoking a cigarette. <laughs> he is running. So he's going to be here in, uh, in, uh, in, 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 in five seconds. And uh, from Bosnia, from Bosnia, Europe. Yeah, from, from Bosnia <coughs> to you. So, um, Bosnia, what is your real name? My real name is Vjekoslav Kramer, but everybody calls me Vjeko because Vjekoslav is really too long. Even my mother, when she's really angry, doesn't call me Vjekoslav. So Vjeko. Yes. Vjeko, uh, good afternoon and welcome to uh, California. Uh, first time here? First time in California. Okay. And uh, um, so first time in California and uh, so you started your, your, your trip in, uh, in, uh, in D.C., right? Yes, we are, I'm the part of one really interesting group. We are actually some kind of food diplomacy group. And we started in Washington, then we went to New York. Now we are in uh, San Francisco, going to Napa Valley, then to Illinois to see some farms, and then to New Orleans. Well, this is a very, uh, big trip, about uh, 22 days, uh, three weeks or so? Yes, 24 days, okay. I think. 24. It, it is a big trip, but there is so many locations and so many people and so many people of us and so many people that we need to meet. So actually, it's uh, it could be longer. It could be longer. <laughs> first time here in the U.S.? No, this is not my first time. I was in U.S. Uh, visiting New York, Las Vegas, Detroit, Chicago, but first time in San Francisco. All right, so tell us a little bit uh, about what you're doing in Bosnia. What kind of cuisine? Uh, do you have a restaurant? No, I don't have restaurants. I have my show on television. I'm working on television for uh, nine years and I have show Lonci Poklopci. Pa odma ovim putem pozdravljam i sve svoje gledatelje ove televizije i moje emisije. Naravno, pusa svima u Bosni. I have show in Bosnia. I'm working on television and it's it's about in this time we have on my television the Suleiman the Magnificent, Emperor Suleiman of Turkey. So uh, last two months I'm cooking Turkish di dishes and in the same time Bosnia is really interesting country, probably most 
Jones. People know it, unfortunately, because of the war that we have. But we were a long time under the Turkish government. Yeah more than 500 years and uh, con uh, countries that uh, we are surrounded is Croatia, Serbia uh, and we have lots of influence of all those kitchen in our kitchen so it's some kind of interesting Balkan fusion yeah. and normally we have the best cuisine in Balkan uh, and uh, actually really interesting you know because there is lots of religion lots of people Muslim uh, uh, Catholics Orthodox Jews we have really interesting cuisine and all of that I'm trying to uh, actually show to my uh, people who watch my show but normally in some mo mod modern way you know to make it more simple and to e more easy to cook so uh, Balkan you have a sea right we have a sir a sea, uh, ocean. Oh, yes. We have Mediterranean coast. We have Mediterranean coast on uh, Montenegro, part of the Bosnia, small part, and the biggest part of Croatia. So we have lots of fish and lots of those things, you know, with uh, olive oil and, yeah. you know, yeah. we actually, we, we have really interesting... Uh, and the way of preparation food, you know, because in Dalma Dalmatia, they don't use so much seasons. They just yeah. cook and boil things, you know, and uh, season it with olive oil. Yeah. But in the same time, in Bosnia, they we use lots of Turkish spices. Yeah. And in a, on the continental part of the Balkan, you know, we use lots of spices like paprika and everything so spicy because of uh, Hungarian uh, influence. Yeah. It's interesting cuisine. You would like you would like it when you visit us. Oh yeah, I would love to. I've never been there. And definitely, actually, the vines. We have really good vines, especially in Herzegovina, because it's a warm part of Croatia. You know, of Bosnia, pardon me. And uh, in Dalmatia, it's really hot. You know, like not the, it's not the same weather like in uh, Florida. I think that you have more rain than we do, but we have good vines, really good vines. So what would be uh, your favorite uh, uh, food and wine pairing with uh, what you do? Uh, if I were to go to Bosnia and you make me one dish and pair this with a wine, what would that be? Oh, can I prepare you a whole meal with uh, four or <laughs> at least five <laughs> courses? Uh, I would I definitely prepare, there is cevapcici, everybody talks about those cevapcici, but it's not so actually difficult to, you know... To what, what is that? The big secret you need to put, I was just yeah. speaking with uh, Dragon and Husbands, you need to put uh, grounded meat, salt, and pepper. Uh -huh. And that's Chavavchichi, but okay. you, yes, that's only that. But the, my favorite food, that, and the, the food that actually, when somebody's coming, my uh, grandmother was preparing, now my aunt and my mother, I'm not so well in that. Okay. It's pita. You know, it's not like Turkish pita. Uh, it's not like American pie, definitely. It's uh, made of, I don't know actually how to translate that on uh, yufka. How to say that? Filo. Filo. Yes. And we make it with meat, with pumpkin, with uh, potato, with cheese. And that's the actually maybe the best dish that I would recommend to somebody. So you guys eat like uh, as far as meat. This is beef, this is goat, this is lamb, this is what is it? Uh, in Cevapcici. Uh, only everything. I mean, like, uh, what? What is there? Like a, a meat that is prevalent? Uh, because, uh, no, the, we me, we use all kind of meats. Actually, it's not so common to use uh, sheep, but yeah. we eat a lot of lamb. Okay. Uh, we don't use uh, old goat, you know, meat, but we use uh, baby goats, yeah. and we use beef, pork, chicken, all kind of birds and fish. And normally, in a Muslim part of country, we don't use pork, you know. And I think nobody did, even people who are in who can eat, eat it because of religion, because it's in, in some places it's too expensive, yeah. and in the same times, uh, place uh, markets doesn't yeah. sell it, you know, because it's you, they need to uh, use different uh, knives, different everything. So you. Can can't find in a central Bosnia so easy pork, yeah. but in the other part, parts of Croatia you can, or in Bosnia, yeah. you can actually eat all kind of meat, like horses, uh, not yeah. so they're expensive, but we have them too. We eat everything almost. <laughs> well, I love horses. I mean, we don't. That's of, that's not I mean that we is very popular here in the, in the states. Believe me. But uh, so uh, horses, yeah. No. Uh, yeah, I, 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 in my country, you know, lots of people will say they don't, they don't want to eat it. But I don't like that, you know. If we, if we gonna kill somebody to eat that meat, it doesn't matter whose meat is that. Actually, yeah. at my opinion, I agree with you. Uh, so what? The, <laughs> so coming up here and uh, do this, uh, this, uh, this trip with all the chefs. What, uh, what do you think uh, you're gonna get out of that? What, 
That's a good question. That's a really good question because I was uh, all time I'm asking that myself actually. You know, what should I take from this story? And uh, there is some interesting parts because uh, whole Balkan, we are not so rich country, you know, like uh, some other countries. So we don't have at all something like uh, GMO, you know, it's not uh, allowed in uh, our country. So lots of people here when we came to States talk about uh, healthy food, healthy, healthy way of living. We, my grandfather's his grandfather he still have chicken and they are normally free range chicken yeah, yeah. when we have cow that cow every morning go outside and come back and then we milk it and prepare cheese you know it's yeah. common and it's normal so we don't I don't use actually you know like I don't buying so much cheese we have our own or something like that you know and sure. that's pretty common in uh, our countries so the best things is that uh, you're gonna meet that guy later uh, from Palestine actually uh, Bosnia because we have war unfortunately that's the things that we did have and we have so uh, Christians Orthodox yes, yes. and Muslim people and that things that they are doing in Palestine chefs for the peace uh, is really good and I think that we need that some kind of real food diplomacy how uh, it, that's the actually the name of this project and that's the way that's the thing that I should actually like to Im implement in my country you know because the food is really good uh, things that you can actually make uh, you know make peace from that sure. you know when you sit uh, we, we've been uh, in a what's the name of the restaurant that we visit in New York with uh, that beautiful guy from Ethiopia, a red rooster, and what is his, his name? It, it was in Harlem. Uh, yes, we we visit Michael Samuelson restaurant, and uh, that's the thing that he said to us. And in uh, uh, you, you know, you can uh, call different people for the same table, and when they start to eat, you know, they it's easier to uh, sure. give them some idea, you know, and to explain them that actually, if we can sit on this table, share bread, yeah. then actually there is no reason that we don't like each other. Sure. We should love. <laughs> each other because we can sit on the same table, drink wine and eat meat, and you know. Yeah. Well, that uh, sounds to me like a very good way of uh, selling a relationship is around the table and with a great food and great people. Yeah. Well, hey, thank you very much, Bosnia. Thank you very much for hey. inviting me. And, uh, Wel welcome to the States and, uh, and uh, enjoy the rest of your trip. Do you want to say hi to your parents quick? Dragi mama i tata puno vas volimo, naročito tebe, draga moja sestrica. I said that I like my parents and my dear sister. Any questions? All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Have you seen here? <clears throat> so now the um, next guest, I think, is uh, coming up from the opposite, actually. And um, it's coming from Vietnam. Coming in. Coming in. Yeah. Hey, uh, so good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, he here. Okay. Right well, go ahead. And uh, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, introduce yourself. Okay, nice to meet you. Uh, firstly, I would like to introduce about myself. My name is Quang. You can call me full name is Trang Thanh Quang. I come from Vietnam. I was the teacher in the culinary school. And the other, but the other side, I'm the R&D of KFC Group in Vietnam. So, first time here in the US? Yes, this is the first time, not only in US, but also the first time out of, out of Vietnam. Oh, so that's why, you know, I'm really happy about that. So what do you think of the US so far? Uh, so far until now, after 15 days in U.S., I feel many, many things made me was surprised about that, you know. I stay here eating the American food, but also I try the other Vietnamese food, Thai food, and the other kind of food, but actually made me feel happy, made me very interesting. Yeah? Yeah. So, uh, what kind of food do you, are, uh, you specialize on? Do you, do you own a restaurant in Vietnam? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have a restaurant in Vietnam, but I'm very keen on Western food. The other side is the Vietnamese food, the Asian food. I can make the pantry, bakery, or uh, fruits carving. That's my good skill. Okay. Yeah. So, and uh, how long have you been doing that? Uh, more than uh, eight years. From uh, I start cooking from the 2005. At that time, I want to find a good job, good. Uh, uh, s maybe salary and then I uh, transfer from the s receptionist to the kitchen and you know s I'm really happy when I were the chef now I can meet some famous people I can cook for them to eat and uh, you know s when I was running the 
at the executive chef at the New York State House in Ho Chi Minh City. And uh, a lot of the famous, famous people said that this is the best of the state in Ho Chi Minh City and this is the best state in Vietnam. So how how do you came up is how you came up to this program here? What uh, um, was it a selection of people or you applied for something? Uh, as I told you that you know uh, I was a teacher in the culinary school, so that's why the U.S. ambassador in Vietnam they invite me to the building and take the interview. And after many competition with the others candidates and we choice were chosen by the US ambassador and uh, I uh, I think I think I'm really lucky for that because a lot of people are more famous more good skill in the cooking than me but they not they are not a teacher or a professional in the school so that's what they choose me Oh, okay, sounds good. So, and you told me uh, you told me a little bit earlier that uh, you went to visit a couple of Vietnamese restaurants, but there's nothing to do with uh, Vietnamese. Yeah, you know, uh, I came here and want to try the how it the different or the same Vietnamese foods in U.S. and uh, Vietnam, but totally a little bit different because it maybe is about the ingredient or spicy, not totally from Vietnam. So that's why the foods is a little bit different. Yeah. All right. So, uh, and let me ask you this question. Uh, so, what uh, what do you think you're going to be able to take with you back to Vietnam with uh, all this, uh, this, uh, uh, all those visits and uh, um, anything you're going to be learning uh, so far? Yes, uh, you know, uh, I I bring with me about uh, very last USB, last uh, uh, camera, but all now it's full list because I take many pictures, I record many speeches from the other famous people and I think I keep all of that when I come to Vietnam and I share with, with my student, with the other chef, I will ask the chef professional in Vietnam how to organize good course for the student, how to make the good skill when they want to be a good chef. Yeah. 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 So fantastic. So and uh, eventually you said that you have some uh, family here, right? Uh, yes, some of my uh, friend, of some fr friend, uh, friend of mine living in US. Maybe long time we didn't see, we didn't met together. So that's why this time a good chance for me to say hello to them. And I want to uh, take the chance to come their home and uh, cooking for them how Vietnamese food original. At um, I think that's a good gift for them. And uh, with your food in Vietnam, uh, what is the best wine that uh, you be uh, you should be using? Uh, I think you know the first the first time when I came here, I heard about people said that they saw the the pancake in uh, the street in the other restaurant, and they saw me the picture. So I feel really fantastic about that. So I think Vietnam food. Vietnam food, Vietnamese food, yeah. really good for the health, for the uh, country exchanging, and I think, uh, I think, I'm sorry, uh, how, how do you? Okay. Wine? Yeah. Yeah, like, you think like white wine or red wine? Or? Uh, uh, no, Vietnamese don't have the red wine or white wine, they just you the local wine, rice wine only. Oh, but okay. now more and more people bring the red wine and white wine from the other countries to Vietnam, and now Vietnamese people are more familiar with the wine now. Okay. Yeah. So that's a, is that easier for you to cook? Give you like a more of a... Um, um, how should I say that? Uh, give you a little bit more of a... Um, array uh, um, give you like a little bit more opportunities of, uh, of, of cooking by bringing wine rather than just cooking with uh, 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 a rice wine yeah uh, you know the rice wine or white wine made really good decision for the get how uh, they could night this is a good sort or good not good sort mm -hmm. but uh, normally if the chef want to be the famous on that they must know what a what kind of that's why or why why suitable for the fish or the meat. That's really important for the yeah. chef. Now some people said that okay now they can uh, transfer from the rest why for the fish or the why why for the beef. But I think that's not totally exactly. But depend on their feeling the cooking skill. But I think I should recommend that. That's a rest why a belong to the beef and why why belong to the fish a totally exactly. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. So, well, thank you very much for coming. Uh, do you want to say hi to your family in uh, Vietnamese? Okay, thank you. Uh, 
à, chào tất cả mọi người trong gia đình thân thương à, sau 15 ngày à, tại Mỹ thì bây giờ à, anh hay là con cũng đương đứng trước mặt mọi người bằng cái camera này và muốn nói rằng cảm ơn tất cả mọi người cảm ơn tất cả những anh em đã ủng hộ cảm ơn đại sứ quán Việt Nam tại Việt Nam đã tạo điều kiện để có thể đến đây để tham gia giao lưu với tất cả những đầu bếp khác cũng như những đầu bếp nổi tiếng của Mỹ để có thể học hỏi giao lưu văn hóa và mai những cái kinh nghiệm này đem về Việt Nam để chia sẻ cảm ơn tất cả mọi người chào bà xã thân yêu chào mẹ chào tất cả các con ạ à. okay. Thank you very much, you very much. And, uh, and enjoy the rest of you stay here All right, bye. Okay. So we are going to change things around just a little bit. The light is changing quickly in Sausalito. We had some fog, and now we have some beautiful sun streaming in the windows. But uh, we're going to move the cameras and get some different locations for some people. All right. So it's a little bit warmer, actually. It's a little bit less wind, and uh, and uh, and uh, I kind of like it. Well, welcome to the show. How are you? You're very, very, very good. I know you. You used to like you're already a celebrity in your country, and uh, and uh, you do have your uh, your show. Let, uh, tell us a little bit who you are and uh, what part of the world are you coming from. Uh, first of all, I want to say is uh, promoting cultural understanding through food is our uh, big title to be to be in here in uh, in US. Thank you for everybody. Thank you for the Department of State. Thank you for all, all of us, and thank you for the chef who doing the sausage for us was uh, really really delicious. Now uh, we should take the recipes after. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm Shadi from Lebanon. Okay, I'm uh, Lebanon. Uh, I have uh, I'm Lebanese with Italian nationality too. Uh, I have a lot of things, okay? Uh, first of all, the more important is uh, my, uh, my daily live cooking show in Future TV in Lebanon. Uh, I'm so glad about that. I'm, I'm with them from three years, but in the TV from 12 years, okay? Mm. Uh, I'm every day from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. It's three hours. Not all the shows are cooking, but most of them. I have for the breakfast, I have the brunch, and after I have the dinner. It's wow. a very good cooking show. I think it's the best in Arabic country now. It's, uh, it's really the best, and I'm so glad about it. And after that, uh, I have uh, the first and the unique radio cooking show. Oh, wow. And the best, uh, best melody FM in all the Middle East. And I'm working in the best uh, Anahar newspaper in Lebanon. I have uh, uh, I have my own uh, uh, cooking show in net. You can uh, you can go www.anahar.com. You can watch me every day with uh, <laughs> a lot of recipes. And uh, here in America, here in USA, you can watch me in the future USA uh, every day at 7:15 afternoon. Do you have some T-shirts? Yes, I have the mine. I have my mascot now. You are my mascot here with my name. No, something like that. Uh, and I have my own company. It's Alla Grande. It's a food development company in Lebanon and uh, in the Arabic country. I, uh, I uh, specialize in opening restaurants, uh, training uh, employees, uh, develop menus, uh, something like that. And you know, when you are in TV and you become famous and a lot of people want to be in, uh, in the opening of the restaurant, for, for example, wants you to be there for uh, training the people for, or for the uh, doing new menus for uh, for some restaurants I'm, 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 I'm able if you need me in uh, US I'm here for other 13 days <laughs> okay we can uh, we can help you so but uh, uh, do you cook Yes, I cook every day. I love cooking. Yeah. No, no, it's my life. Uh, I love cooking so much. I don't have time to cook at home, no? Yeah. Sorry, uh, my, uh, my my wife is there, no? You see her? <laughs> okay, uh, no, uh, I don't have uh, time to cook at home because I'm, I'm a busy man uh, from early morning until night, no? Yeah. Uh, you know, when you are a chef, uh, uh, you, uh, you, you know, the work is, is more in, in, in the feast days and during night and you cannot see the family. It's a hard, it's, it's a hard, uh, 
از هاردلي ورك از هاردر ورك ذات وي كان ايفر ايفر سي يو نو وين يو ار اس شيف وين يو هاف ا ريستورانت اند وين يو مانج ا ريستورانت نو يو شود يو شود بي شود بي ذير اول تايمز اند مور اف يو ار فيموس اف يو هاف اف يو ار فيموس اند يو هاف بروبلمز اند يور ريستورانت ات بيكام مور ورست ذان ذان اذر ذان اذر ريستورانت يو نو اه يا يو ار فيموس اند يو سي ذا تيبل هاو ات از نو يو نو سمثينج لايك ذات نو از is it's lovely to be to be to cook uh, because uh, because cooking uh, no i have I, i want to say something uh, i cook uh, i and i live for cook and i not cook uh, and i'm cooking for life yeah. uh, it's it's something it's something in in you you know and it's it's be it's be you in your life in your heart uh, if not you cannot be a good cook sure. so how you became a cook or chef Oh yeah, it's a difficult thing. So now I start uh, making my uh, my university at Trieste in Italy, like uh, electronic engineer. Uh, and after you know, uh, of because of money, you know, because of money, uh, I find a, a small school at Trieste called Irfop. You can sleep there. Don't say anything. Huh? Between me, yeah, yeah, it was good. No, but you can sleep there. And you know, the apartments was uh, so expensive for me. I said, okay, I go there. No, in the school, I'm doing the school, sleeping there. I'm doing my yeah. university. You know, and after you know, you know, you, I finish without paying any rent. No, uh, after two weeks, no, I loved uh, the job. I uh, I left the university and uh, I go I go for uh, the Irfop school, uh, was hospitality management school. Oh. I finished it after three years, and all over Italy, I made uh, you know each Friday Friday night. You go, I was, I send you, no, uh, to some restaurant to take to to make some uh, some uh, uh, to help yeah. the people in the first uh, uh, first or second or third uh, years, uh, and after that, yeah, you know, and after that, I uh, when I finish and go to the university at Trieste and I make my sales and marketing uh, degree. There was uh, was was so good. So you and you really enjoy. The, the, does it? Do you travel all over the place, or uh, that's not your first time here in the U.S., right? Yeah, it's my first time here in oh, U.S. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but I travel a lot. Each uh, each uh, each month or second month, I'm in Italy. Okay, and uh, and uh, I I'm doing a lot of marketing marketing shows in all uh, over Arabic countries. You know, if somebody wants to uh, watch me now mm -hmm. uh, and wants to market some ingredient, I'm I'm ready. So how how is it difficult to uh, to uh, work for different countries, the Arabic countries? Is it, you know, because it seems to be like you know, uh, kind of everything a little bit different, and uh, and uh, it's a little bit like you know, like France and Italy, or France and uh, Spain, and uh, and how how do you become uh, a person that is. Uh, uh, that is capable of working for all those different uh, countries yeah, like that. Very good question, yeah. Uh, look, when you are in TV, you know, you should take your personality in TV, you know, and the people uh, uh, must love these things in you. Mm -hmm. Because now, uh, if you want to cook, you can go to the Google, you take your recipe, you know, yeah. or you take your yeah. cookbook, you know. But if, uh, when you are in TV or in radio, you know, yeah. uh, you should have the personality that the people loves in you. Yeah. No, and now maybe if I want if I want to make the yogurt black, yeah. the people believes me, no, because they loves you, no. Yeah. And when the people loves you, uh, and if you go around all the Arabic country or all Europe, uh, okay, doesn't matter, no. Yeah. You have your your own personality, and you should you should uh, uh, market your personality and the product with it, yeah. no. Uh, it's uh, it's not difficult. It's the same, yes. no. If I market, if I want to market, I, I want to make a show in Saudi Arabia or. Algeria or Lebanon yeah. or even in Italy, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the same. Yeah. I'm, I'm Chef Shadi and, and, uh, and I'm proud to be, to be this chef who, who, uh, who do that. And, uh, and why, why I should change if, uh, if uh, the people likes me? Okay. So how, um, why you be, uh, why do you come to this program? How do you came up uh, into this program um, with uh, all the other chefs? Okay. I will tell you. Uh, look, Uh, look what uh, what is what is happen is uh, is all the embassies our american embassies in 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 all over the world they they send a lot of nominees to washington dc okay to the department of state uh, in lebanon uh, maybe i don't know maybe they send more than 27 uh, uh, persons or in like nominees not only 
not only chefs, no, I was one of them, but uh, and from all over the countries. And and in the end, the department, the Department of State, uh, they must choose twenty or twenty-five persons. How, how they choose us, and in what they. Uh, in what uh, in what things uh, uh, they should find to choose the people uh, i don't know yeah. in what i know that six months ago they contacted me from the uh, uh, embassy of uh, american embassy in beirut okay they sent me an email uh, telling me that uh, that if uh, if i will be happy if i will accept to come here i said no no without any interest about yeah. uh, about it but after three four months uh, they sent me another email the second one and they told me that ah I'm one of the 20 peoples or 25 peoples coming in the U.S. and uh, and the history that start from this uh, from this point uh, and uh, and really really uh, in, I'm uh, I'm feeling that I'm dreaming yeah. and more today today and really in uh, San Francisco California uh, I think uh, I think uh, it should be uh, the best day in in U.S. So so far, what do you think of the country? Uh, yes, uh, I, I will go. I must. <laughs> if not, I will stay. <laughs> if I have my wife, my kids, <laughs> what I can do. Okay. <laughs> you can have your own show here. <laughs> yeah, I will find. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I can marry someone here, no? I can stay here. That, uh, how do you think I came up here? <laughs> <laughs> you can stop the camera, please. <laughs> Is it good? It's a very, very good country. Is really, uh, you know, I said before, no, uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's a lot to see in one days. Yeah. Maybe here in California, at minimum, for all the people wants to come in California and in San Francisco, okay, uh, minimum they should stay here for minimum minimum one week, okay, to see at least at least uh, five percent of the city. Really, really, very good. All right. Well, I mean, uh, I'll put, thank you very much for thank your. Uh, thank you. Thank do you, you want to say to your family, to uh, to your wife, and? أنا ما بعرف إذا عم تحضروني هلا بس أنا عندي أنا عندي أول شيء تحكي بالعربي شوي أنا عندي برنامج اسمه رشة ملح بيتز أوكي أوف سالت كتير حلو حضروني كل يوم أوكي وشو بدي أقولكم بعد بحبكم كتير وأنتوا بتعرفوا محبة المحبة اللي لكم أنتوا شكرا كتير لكم أنتوا شكرا لأنكم أنتوا اللي خليتوني أوصل لهون ثانك يو فيري ماتش أوكي ميرسي كتير لك ثانك يو ثانك يو ثانك يو ثانك يو فيري ماتش all right, and now we're going back the other side. <laughs> That's beautiful. Come here, come closer. Don't be shy. <laughs> so, uh, and um, from China. Yeah, China. Okay. All right, so go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, okay. Hello, uh, I'm Huo Liangzi from Canton, China. I came from the south of China, and it's a very uh, noisy but interest uh, interest town in China. Mm. So you are not a chef either. You are an uh, uh, editor, food writer, food and uh, uh, lifestyle magazine uh, uh, writer. Mm -hmm. And um, tell us a little bit uh, how you came up to this program here. Mm -hmm. I think maybe you should a ask the officer in the uh, Canton Embassy, you mm. know, <laughs> of USA. But I think they choose me because. Uh, first, Canton is a gourmet town in China. Uh, the Cantonese cuisine is very famous, very exquisite uh, of all the Chinese cuisines. And in Canton, everybody is crazy about food. They are talking about food. They are, you know, as food is a good uh, topic to relate every other, uh, everybody together. And our magazine, really do a lot of reports about food and we really do an outstanding job. And every December issue, uh, we will have 100 pages about the 50 best restaurants in, in Canton. So I think mm. that's why they yeah, choose the magazine and choose me. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's great. So, do you like yourself cooking? Do you like cooking, or do you just go out to the restaurant and? Uh, really? you know? <laughs> I'm sorry for that, but I think maybe I will do more cooking after the after this trip. Well, yeah. That's good. I mean, and uh, but you're earning a lot of things here. Like, for instance, that uh, this is the first time you ever had Cantonese rice. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you want me talk about yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. the Cantonese rice? <laughs> uh, yesterday. Uh, 
the, some uh, some members of our group we go to China we went to Chinatown and we go to a, a very simple restaurant and uh, one member from the uh, Codiva and she said um, please order some Cantonese rice and I asked what is Cantonese rice please <laughs> and you know a lady from Cambodia because they uh, both they are uh, the ex the French colony yeah, yeah. so she understand what she's saying and okay. he explained the Cantonese rice is invented by the French uh, it, it's really fried rice <laughs> <laughs> so the first time uh, I uh, as a Cantonese yeah. and know what is Cantonese rice so it's, I, I think it's happened in every cuisine overseas yeah so do you like it uh, it's fried rice. We eat eat a lot yeah. at home, yeah. so it's okay. So how do you call it home? Uh, I think the same way. Just the name yeah. is invented, and yeah. the ingredients is a little different from here. Yeah. Sounds nicer, Cantonese rice. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so tell us uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your magazine and uh, and uh, um, and uh, what you know someone can expect to uh, to look at uh, a lot of beautiful pictures and uh, is that the same type of magazine lifestyle magazines that we have here in the, in the states mm -hmm. i think maybe it's uh, like travel and leisure or the food and one yeah. uh, in the u.s yeah. but we do learn a lot from japanese magazines yeah. okay. because yes the the composition of the japanese magazine and the they have very detailed information of everything they reported in the editorial, okay. yeah. Uh, and the magazine is, we, we have about 20 to 30 pages of food, every issue, and 20 to 30 pages uh, travel, every issue. And uh, we have a cover story of 40 pages, every issue. It depends, uh, we have um, some, Sometimes we have a uh, de design hotel as our cover story, uh, and the September issue is about a uh, dessert, and the October issue is about the light and Latin uh, okay. at home. So we do everything related to the lifestyle. Yeah. And uh, are you covering m mostly China, uh, uh, mostly China, or are you really covering you know the lifestyle magazine of you know all the regions of the world? like uh, uh, the US or Canada or, um, I don't know, Mexico, Brazil? Uh, in fact, we're based in Canton. So most of the results, uh, reports is related to Canton and about okay. Canton. But we also do a lot of reports about Hong Kong and Macau because, the, in fact, it's the same region. Yeah. And we only have one or two hours drive from uh, each city oh, yeah, and yeah. yeah Cantonese they do have a lot of holidays to Macau and Hong Kong and also I think maybe 40 percent 40 percent of the magazine is about the uh, whole world uh, reports mm -hmm. uh, we, we uh, something about US uh, Japan and Paris for example uh, in September issue we do a report about uh, dessert so there's a writer in Paris, they write an essay about the desserts in, uh, in Paris for yeah. us, something like that, yeah. So from you, uh, for you coming up here as an uh, editorial of a food and wine magazine, what, uh, uh, what do you think you're going to be able to take over back to, uh, uh, to China? What kind of experience or what, what, you, what will you be learning? The, 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 the cuisine, you're going to learn that there is a Cantonese rice now. <laughs> Should revise that, in your, you know, add this to your vocabulary. But you know what else? I mean, you, because you're going to be looking out tomorrow. You're going to go to Napa Valley, and uh, and uh, so what else do you think? Uh, what kind of thing do you think you're going to be able to bring back with you? I think the first hand experience is very important to our audience, and I will write about you know the whole trip and the food diplomacy. You know. I, I don't think there's many people have the opportunities to go to White House and to talk to the chefs no. and uh, to have the receptions at the Department of the State. And you know, in fact, during the whole trip, uh, we have the experience from the land to the office, mm -hmm. from, the, from the plate, from the restaurant to the policies. I think 
that's very wonderful. Yeah. And uh, and the other experience is happening in in our group, yeah. you know. And I I don't think there's many people have the experience to uh, have the opportunity uh, to talk to the chefs from yeah. 25 countries. Yeah. And everyone is unique. Everyone has has his wonderful stories. Yeah. So I will definitely introduce them in our magazine. I think it's wonderful to uh, introduce so many different things and this, the diversity of the world. And I want to introduce them in our magazine, yeah. So that's right, you guys went to the, to the White House. Were you able to take some pictures? <laughs> yes, we could, but I don't think I can talk much about White House here. <laughs> Yes, That's right. uh, something is secret. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so, well, hey, thank you very much for coming. Do you want to say hi to your parents or your family for, um, in China? And okay, okay. Um, uh, 你好，爸爸妈妈，我现在是在家里富尼亚，然后我是在一个非常非常漂亮的海湾的一户人家，然后接受采访。呃，我希望你们能看到这段视频，然后也希望你们能够呃跟我一起分享这段旅程。谢
So I also did uh, cook for uh, His Majesty the King of Jordan, and I cooked for Clinton and George W. Bush and um, Jack Chirac at his palace in Paris. And uh, I was also the first person to cook for President Arafat and late President Rabin and Perez, he's now the president of Israel, in Gaza in back 1904, 1994. So uh, I had the privilege to be uh, cooking for many presidents of the world, and uh, it's always a pleasure to do so. You must be a most famous chef we ever had on Tootsuit, guys. I mean, this is awesome. So um, how you came up uh, to, uh, to here, uh, uh, this program here? Yes, um, this program is all about diplomacy in the culinary world, and I am also a pioneer in that. Back home, I am a part of a team called Chefs for Peace. We are 12 chefs, four Muslims, four Christians, and four Jews mm -hmm. that gather together up only to cook, mm -hmm. no matter what your religion is, no matter what your background is, political views. We are only gathering to break the bread together, have a glass of wine, eat good food. So um, I'm very active in this part of the world in Chefs for Peace, and I have been traveling around the world also to spread the news for diplomacy in the world of cooking. So this program is also based on the diplomacy in the uh, culinary world. And that's where they, I was nominated by the US Department of State to participate in this action. I'm also a teacher in culinary arts. I teach gastronomy, which is the history of food. So uh, doing so and teaching my students about the culinary arts and the diplomacy in it, is uh, is what I think for the next generations in this world that we will have a more peaceful side of it. Yeah. So and uh, tomorrow you're going to be uh, uh, checking out the CIA, the other CIA uh, here in Napa Valley in Santa Elena. This is a pretty nice building. I mean, and a great. I, I know some great chefs and instructors. It's going to be like a really awesome. Have you been to Napa before? No, it's my first time to Napa. We're actually uh, touring uh, Napa in the CIA Culinary Institute of uh, America. We're going to also be at the French Laundry, the famous Thomas Killer. And uh, we have visited the famous restaurants in Washington, D.C., in New York. Uh, also the uh, French Ecole of Cuisine in New York. So it's um, actually we're getting all the, um, the senses of cooking through the students, either in culinary schools or in the farming industry or on the slow food movement or... Uh, health cooking for children, like the Common Threads, which uh, Chef Art uh, Smith is doing. So it's it's basically getting all those tastes of um, the culinary in the United States of America and sharing that with our colleagues back home. So, and uh, um, going back to the molecular cu uh, cuisine and, uh, and, uh, and the sous vide and all that, um, is what you see coming next after that? Oh, this is uh, so young the, 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 this, to be able to look at after that or beyond that. Do you think there is a, a new trend that is coming up, something that is uh, very innovative and uh, maybe less scary than the molecular cuisine? Molecular cuisine doesn't seem too appealing anyway, is it? Um, I'll put it this way. Molecular cuisine, there's not many people that like that cuisine because it's a very complicated one and there are very... Uh, new materials coming in but uh, what I do at my restaurant is I keep it simple as much as possible it's basically the real um, heritage cuisine but with a touch of modern cuisine you could have a nice spherical uh, yogurt that can top a nice salad where you can see the yogurt the taste is itself but in a different texture so this is my approach to the molecular cuisine it's just having hints of modern cuisine on my plate, yeah. but still keeping it down to earth, the good old food that people look forward to. Yeah. So uh, what comes in the future is always, um, uh, I cannot decide what is coming, but I mean, you could never talk about modern cuisine this year, 10 years ago. I mean, molecular yeah. cuisine is just uh, creation. Yeah. It's, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. So. It's good to try it, but it's not always good to eat it. I mean, I did eat it, and then I ended up with a hot dog at a nice truck outside. So, so why are you doing it? <laughs> well, it's as I mentioned, it's just touches of um, being up-to-date yeah. modern cuisine. 
so you're not left over like uh, in the old cuisine. So if I were to come to your restaurant and uh, sit down and uh, what, uh, uh, what, what, what would I find into the menu? Basically, you can find uh, nice European um, dishes of such uh, caramelized moulard breast with a nice orange sauce, yeah. for example. Or you can have the simple fettuccine Alfredo, but with dried mushrooms on top. You can have a Caesar salad, but it is already in a different approach where I reassemble the salad into different particulars and with dried duck breast fumé, yeah. smoked, and with shaved garlic chips on top. Oh. So yeah. you, you will still have the same characters of yeah. the dish, but in a different... Yeah. What, what, what is the, the, uh, the ticket average? If I sit down, just, just on the food. Well, what is it like, you know, 100 bucks, 200 bucks, a pop? It's, no, uh, it's, it's roughly 100 dollars. That's cheaper than a French laundry. Yes, it is a lot cheaper. <laughs> Well, that's that, those are good prices fairly back to Jerusalem. So. That's fantastic. Hey, Johnny, uh, one more thing. I don't know if you care about talking about it, but uh, about 16, year, uh, 16 years ago, you were starting to tell me that uh, you made an attempt to come up to the United States. And uh, while you're flying, something happened. Uh, tell us about uh, your experience. Well, actually, I was here 16 years ago, but uh, then I, d I loved the country and I decided to come back. But I had a very hard experience that I was traveling actually on the day of 9-11 where the accident uh, happened in New York and um, I was stopped over in uh, Amsterdam you know with the, all the uh, uh, closure of the uh, airplanes in the world I stayed there for four days and went back home I was planning to come here to live here to start my business here but it never came to uh, to actual thing and it's a shame I mean um, it's a terrible thing that happened, but let's hope for the best. You never know what can come up. Well, and uh, and finally, you eventually made it back. You know, you're here today, and uh, fantastic to have you here, buddy. Um, hey, thank you very much. You want to say hi to your buddies in uh, in Jerusalem? Thank you very much for having me here in San Francisco, especially with this beautiful uh, crowd around me. And I definitely would like to say hi from the United States of America to my family, my kids, and all my colleague chefs. Thank you. Johnny, thank you again and, uh, and enjoy the rest of your trip. Thank you very much. And maybe we'll see you in Napa tomorrow or the next couple of days. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is. We are. Uh, we were live streaming from a beautiful Sosalito. Uh, we finally can see the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the city right now. It's beautiful, uh, beautiful light. That's great. And uh, uh, well, thank you for joining. Uh, Susan, do you want the last word? Uh, no, I just want to thank everyone for joining us today and Alex and Dragana for hosting us and in, in, inviting us to meet all these great people. And we'll be putting this online tomorrow and we'll see you all soon. Goodbye. Thank you. Good, um, arrivederci. Shalom. Everything along from the, the, the world. Thank you, guys. Bye.